What's up, geeks? This is Bright2J here with episode 6 of Yay Toys. Continuing on the Batman theme, we got the Batman Arkham Knight video game Scarecrow figure from DC Collectibles. Uh, he is number 3 in the wave, and this figure is sick looking. Let's check him out. So here's the Scarecrow, and I gotta say, this figure is sick looking. DC Collectibles and General Giant Studios did a hell of a job with this figure. I love all the stitch work. I love the toxin. I love the Freddy Krueger needles over here. Uh, the knee brace. So for those of you that don't know why he's wearing the knee brace. Um, so in Arkham Asylum, Croc just rips him to shreds. So you didn't know if he was going to live or not. So... I like that they made him alive, but he's, you gotta assume he's all torn to shreds underneath this garb over here. Um, I love that the hood is a vinyl material, so you could kind of pull that down. Um, there actually is a noose on this figure right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like homage to the uh, animated series, or the second animated series. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so, for the... Uh, for the height, right? The height, he's in perfect scaling with the other Batman figures, being just about seven inches. So I like that. Um, what else? So we got his articulation. Uh, he does have the arms that go almost all the way out. Just be very careful. Um, his head can go all the way around. The hood is on a separate piece, so that's really cool. Just be careful, because uh, earlier I had one of these fall out on me. had to glue it in. It does happen, but that's fine. Uh, what else does he have? He has a swivel over here. It's not quite the bicep. It's like on the top of the brace, kind of hidden. Uh, he does have an elbow joint. Mine is a little stiff. It's a single joint. He does have very limited uh, wrist rotation. So it's actually at the needles. Um, he has... On this side, it's more on the upper, which is tight on mine as well, but, you know, it's there. Same with the elbow. Uh, this wrist, same thing. This is very limited articulation. He has a waist uh, swivel. He has a little bit of crunch, but only at the bottom of the waist. There's no ab crunch. Um, his legs, he has a single jointed knee. Um, he does do the splits. Uh, he does have upper thigh swivel. It's just really, really tight on mine. And it's only on the one leg, apparently. That's really weird. I never noticed that. But anyway, I love the lacing on the boots, too. Um, that's really cool. I love the little flap. Uh, he does have ankle rotation. No pivot, actually. Yeah, yeah, this pivot on mine. Sorry. Mine, again, is really tight. I don't really use him that often. He's just a nice little display piece. Um, the one accessory that he comes with is the scary mask. Um, I'm believing that he uses this. He doesn't really use it in the game, but I think it's basically like he'll put it on, you know, kind of like this. And then it goes over the hood. Again, just be very careful because, uh, you know, you don't want the little gas mask piece to fall off. But yeah. He kind of gives that, like, scary face, so you could only assume when you're, like, freaking out from the fear toxin that that's what you see. I like it. Um, General Giant Studios, once again, hell of a job with the figure. Uh, I love the knee brace. That's really a neat idea. Um, I, once again, I love the fact that they gave the noose an homage to the animated series. Uh, this figure, definitely worth picking up. Uh, again, he's number three in the line. Um, yeah, I mean, looks like, once again, they took a video game figure, took him right out of my screen, put him right onto the display. Well, that's it for me. This has been Yay Toys. I've been Bry2J. Please subscribe to my channel and check out InnerCityGeeks.com for more of your weekly geekly. And remember... You don't stop playing because you get old, you get old because you stop playing. Peace.